Hello and welcome to Phoenix Cards and this weekend is the uh, new Pokemon set Chillin' Rain release weekend and with all we sorry release weekends we have a whole booster box of Chilling Rain to open so this is a full 36 pack booster box um, so we're hopefully going to get some really good pulls today um, from what I've seen online the pull rates are pretty good but then it's kind of that thing where if your pulls aren't great, you're probably not going to be posting. Um, so it kind of skews your perspective a little bit. But we'll see what we get. I'm hoping to get some cool stuff. Um, we're going to be searching for some legendary birds. And we're going to be um, looking for full art trainers and um, Zerora and things like that. I'm not too fussed about the Shadow Riders. Um, I'm not a big fan of them aesthetically and I'm currently not playing um, and I know that at least one of them is playable at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're going to get this open and then we're just going to get straight into these 36 packs and hopefully we'll get some really nice cards um, if I can get this open. There we go. So remember guys, if you do like my videos, um, please remember to give a like down below and also subscribe to the channel for more videos um, like this. I'm always doing Pokemon openings and trying to keep up to date with doing Digimon openings as well. So uh, your support is always appreciated. So I'm just looking through because I want to get one of every pack out so I can show you guys if you haven't seen them yet. So we do have a Moltres pack, we've got an Articuno, so these are the uh, Galarian variants. We've got the um, Shadow Rider Carallax, we've got the Ice Rider Carallax, and then we've got the Galarian Zapdos. So I'll just take out the rest of those, put them back in the order they were. So we've got half of our booster box ready to go, 18 packs, let's get started. Started. So obviously with new releases I tend not to give the codes away for these sets because I put it back into getting product for new content. Um, but if we do get sort of an ultra ultra rare pool or well I'll say all better but the all the ultra rares are the best thing basically, um, I will give code cards away, they'll just be sort of like randomized on what they are. So our first pack we have a Haunter, Brawly, Clara, Scrovet, Inke, Sobble, Heracross, Porygon, a Reverse Hollow Thunderous, which is a rare, and the other rare is a Great Star, oh my god, the first pack in the box and we get the Alternative Art Galarian Rapidash V. I mean, that is such a beautiful card. Okay, we it's like My Little Pony coming to Pokemon with the design a little bit, but just the alternate artworks on these cards in the last few sets have been amazing, and I really like this one. Um, it looks really cool. I kind of wish, I don't know whether they do, they might do, whether they've got sort of um, like prints of the the artworks so you just get the artwork rather than having all like the text on the card and stuff that'd be pretty cool if they do have those i'll have to have a look online actually but that is a great way to get this video started let's hope the pools continue like that <laughs> um so yeah that's our alternate art card i doubt we'll get another alternate art in the box um but hopefully we'll still get maybe like, some full art or like secret rare or something and i need to give you a code card before i go on to the next pack um, so you can have a Hidden Fates tin for Raichu. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with how this video has started. So let's get on to our second pack. We have an Equin Horn, Wacky, Porygon 2, a Cast Form Snowy Form, Clobopus. Golet Ladipa, Cast Form, a Reverse Hollow Diglett, which is a common and the rare, is a Hollow Intellion. So we've got a Hollow rare, which is nice. Again, back to back good pulls. So now onto our 
Um, hopefully uh, you won't have the same issue that I had in some of the packs previously where the um, reverse hollow was missing from packs. So far we're good, we're getting the reverse hollows, so that's nice. So we've got a Thwacky, a Whirlipede, Brawly, Diglett, Scorbunny, Scrobet, Inke, Subble. A reverse hollow Sneasel, which is just a common and the rare. Is a non hollow Galarian so fetched. Let's keep this going. Uh, so I don't want to make this video too long, but I want to go through the cards at a decent speed so you guys can see what they are if you haven't seen them before. But obviously, we're going to get a lot of duplicates. Um, so I'm trying not to go too slow because otherwise this video would be really long as well. So our reverse hollow is a fire resistant glove, so basically a pair of oven mitts to put on your Pokemon and uh, make it do more damage. Interesting. Um, and the rare is a non hollow Malamar. I think this set and the last set are basically just the items to like make your Pokemon do more damage and stuff just seem to end up being like a whole costume. So, it be interesting to see if we start getting, like, I know they do it with Pikachus, but whether we start getting, I don't know, Pokemon. And then, they had the armoured Mewtwo as well, but if we could get, like, more armoured Pokemon or Pokemon in costumes, I don't know. You know what Pokemon are like, they tend to go a bit crazy sometimes with their ideas. Uh, we got Lavesta. We've got a Reverse Hollow Shaman, which is a rare. That's a pretty cool artwork. I like the background on that. Uh, other rare is... A Spiritomb on Hollow. I've also heard that there is another error um, going on with Chilling Rain Booster Boxes, which is that people are not getting white code cards when they're getting sort of like hollows or ultra rares, which is interesting. I mean, all, all it does is denote what you get in the pack, whether it's a green card or a white card. Um, as far as I'm aware, it has no effect on what cards you get from the online packs. Um, oh, there we go. We get a Tornadus V Half Art and the Reverse Hollow before that was a rare as a Volcarona. Um, but yeah, our second ultra rare pull of the video, a Single Strike Tornadus V. But yeah, the, the code cards um, don't tend to denote what you get online pull-wise. So it's not a big deal, it's just obviously... The I've messed up how the codes are, but there is a code for you guys, a Hidden Fates Team Gyarados GX. Okay, so what we got here, we've got an Expedition Uniform, Laron, which is a pretty nice artwork actually. You know, I think most like Laren artworks are kind of aggressive looking, but this is quite serene, just sipping at the water there. Uh, we've got a Seabold, Found Sweet, and Venipede, and Routes, uh, Aron, Hatena, a Reverse Hollow Hatena, and the rare is. <laughs> oh my god! A Rainbow Karen's Conviction. This box is turning out to be awesome. We've already had a, a full art alternative art and now we've got a rainbow full art trainer. And obviously it's female, so apparently for some reason female ones go for a lot more money. So that is an awesome pull. Also I need it for my collection because I'm collecting full art trainers and I'm quite behind actually. I need to get some of the older stuff, um, but getting this new stuff a lot easier, which is nice. So that's awesome. This box is like really good so far. And let's see, co cards. What can I give you guys for that pull? One second. Um, I do have a pile of co cards. And I didn't separate them from the piles of everything else I've got going on. Okay. You can have a ooh, Champion's Path pin collection for Holbury Gym. And we'll get on to our next pack. So we've already got uh, three Ultra Rares in a box. You typically tend to get between six to eight on an average box. Um, but we'll see, some boxes get more. 
And the fact that we've probably pulled the two highest rarity cards already means we'll probably end up just getting a few like half arts and maybe a full art or two to continue. But you never know, we could get some more high value or high rarity pulls. So we've got a reverse holo Flannery and a non holo Zangoose as the rare. Future chilling rain videos. I do have an, one of the ETBs um, put aside, so next week's video should be a chilling rain ETB. And then going forwards, um, I'll just sort of see what I can get hold of because the the allocations from what I can tell for chilling rain were quite severe for a lot of places. And so our reverse hollow is a Malamar rare, and the other rare is a non hollow Galarian Weezing. I don't think I've opened any sort of like three pack or one pack blisters on this channel yet. So I might see if I can get hold of some of those and I can do videos on those. They'll be nice and quick videos as well. So easy for you to watch on like a bus or a train journey or something. Or when you've just got a bit of spare time. And we've got a reverse hollow Porygon, which is just a common and the rare is a non hollow dog trio. So the pause have slowed down a... Oh, there's a backwards card. See, I've just opened that pack <laughs> and there's a backwards card in it. So I wonder what that is. Um, it's not the rare rare. I think it might be the reverse hollow. It is. So we've got a reverse hollow a rock rough comment there. Let me just come out then. Good old Pokemon, um, what's the word? Control, production control there. And we've got there on Deadly Bird. Dealing, uh, Aaron Blitzel, Lapras. And we, oh, okay, so we got two reverse hollows in this pack. We got the Rock Ruff, which was the wrong way around. And we've got this reverse hollow Zarude, which is a rare. And the other rare is a non hollow Kecleon. So for all those people and for myself that were missing reverse hollows from packs, we now know where they are. They're in other packs. Well, I don't know how that's happened, but there you go. We've got Steeny, oh, uh, Dino Tree Hill, Scroll of the Skies, Porygon, Go Look, Grabrawler, uh, come on, Sveal, Venipede, a reverse hollow path to the peak and the rare is a hollow real boom which got a pretty funky artwork on there that's quite a nice hollow so we've got two of the free star well like last evolutions of the starter pokemon which is pretty nice i'm assuming there is a cinderace hollow as well so let's see if we can get that Welcoming Lantern, Fire Resistant Gloves, Sobble, Hatena, Kupfu, Ghastly, Cast Form, Snowy Form, a Reverse Hollow Snow Runt, which is just a common and the rare, is a non hollow Spiritum. See, that was a white code card, and we got a common and a non hollow, so that's definitely wrong. So, with Chilling Rain, if you tend to look at the colour of the code card before you go through the pack, just kind of ignore it with this set, basically. Because you don't know what you're going to get. So we've got a Justified Gloves, uh, Curlia, Crushing Gloves, all the gloves, uh, Scorbunny, Rookie, Crabrawler, Squover, Ladybug, a Reverse Hollow Gengar, which is a rare, and the other rare is... A Blaziken V Max Full Art. I mean, I call these Full Arts, but all the V Maxes are basically this Full Art style anyway. But I think this is probably one of my favourite artworks from the set. I'm not a huge Blaziken Blaziken fan. Um, I do like that evolution line, but you know, not one of my.
my favourite Pokemon. Um, but this artwork is, is really nice, um, so I'm happy that we've pulled that. So that is our fourth ultra rare of the video, and we're still not halfway through the box yet, so that's pretty nice. And you can have a Sword and Shield Elite Trainer box for Zashu. So I think most of the codes I've been giving away so far are for like promos and um, like sleeves and stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoy getting those anyway. So our next pack we have a Porygon 2 Weeding Gloves. That's the one. See what I mean? It's just a load of gloves. Uh, Karen's Conviction, Rockruff, Marie, Grookey, uh, Porygon, Skirlip, a Reverse Hollow Porygon 2, and the Rare. Here's another Ultra Rare pool. We get the Celebi V Half Art. I'm kind of a little disappointed that they cut the alternative art of this because that was definitely one of the best looking cards in the set if not the best looking card from the Japanese version. Um, so it would be interesting to see what they do with that for like a uh, like a, a Western release, whether it's going to be a promo or if it's going to be in another set down the line. They might put it in like a 25th anniversary set. Maybe they're keeping it for that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, a little bit disappointing that they did cut that one. Uh, We've got Grookey, Clobopus, Heracross, Mary, Larvesta, a reverse hollow cast form, snowy form, which is just a common and the rare, is a hollow graplot, which is just ripping up trees from the ground. So what's that? Our third hollow. It's okay, we've got two packs left of this half, and to be honest, like the pools have been really good. So I'm just hoping that the, the second half of the box continues in that vein, um, otherwise the second half may be a bit disappointing. So we've got a Fluffy, Avery, a Weeding Gloves, Lapras, Swellix, Rockruff, a Marie, oh, Mr. Card, a Grookey, Flannery, Reverse, Hollow, and the Rare is a non-hollow Galarian Fetched. Okay, last pack from our first half of the Chilling Rain Booster Box. Let's see what we can get. We've got a Rugged Helmet, uh, Flannery, Kakuna, Inke, Lavesta, Diglett, Fairfarrow, Found Sweet, a Reverse Hollow Swirlix, which is just a common and the rare. Is a non hollow Serena. Okay, so half a box, which is 18 packs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pools. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. That's like a pool every two packs, sort of. So that's pretty nice odds for getting a hollow or better. So we're now on to our second half of the booster box. open. Jesus, that one was glued down tightly. Maybe there's something extra special in here. Probably not. We have a Honey, uh, Crushing Gloves, Wallopede, Slowpoke, Snova, Venipede, Snowrunt, Aron, a Reverse Hollow Caitlyn, and the Rare is a Non-Hollow Persimian. So I'm sure by now all of you have heard the news about Evolving Skies, having like the evolutions and things from the EV Heroes set in Japan. Um, it's probably going to be one of the most sought after sets of the year, I would imagine, including the 20th anniversary stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely hoping to get a decent amount of Evolving Skies. Um, I definitely want to open a lot because I'm a fan of the evolution, so I want to try and get as many of those as possible. Um, so I can imagine some of the like the alternative arts and the full arts things are going to be a bit expensive. 
Um, but let me know down in the comments below if you're really excited for Evolving Skies. And if you're not, let me know what you are excited for. Is there a set that you know of that you're waiting for? Is there particular cars to come out that you're looking forward to get hold of? Uh, let me know in the comments. So we do get a Reverse Rare Spiritoon. However rare is a Sandaconda V Half Art. So that's pretty nice. There's an interesting design Pokemon. And let's just move out of the way a little bit because we're filling up at the back there. And code card, you guys can have a Steam Siege. Everyone loves Steam Siege. To be honest, I don't even know why I've still got code cards for Steam Siege. I don't think I've opened a Steam Siege pack in a very long time. Okay, so our next pack we have a Drizzle, Half to the Peak, uh, Impact Energy, Snow Rent, Glare in Your Mass. I can't get these cards. Uh, coughing, Slowpoke, come on. Dealing, a Reverse Hollow Blitzel, which is a common and the rare is a hollow galarian sloking still probably the creepiest pokemon that i think i've seen but i'm sure there are some fans of the design out there okay, we've got fire resistant gloves uh piona celio Swellix, Porygon, Ladybug, Ghastly, uh, Rockruff, a Reverse Hollow Cast Form, Rainy Form, which is just a common, and the rare is a Non Hollow Warren. Also, let me know in the comments what you think of, if you've seen it, of the new V Union mechanic. Um, so if people haven't seen it, it is basically four parts to a card and I believe you have to have all parts in the discard pile to be able to play the card and it's like a massive artwork and it's got loads of attacks and big attacks and things. They're kind of reminiscent of the old legend cards but for those we only had um, two halves. So for example like Poe Legend was like the top half of his head, the bottom half of his wings and legs sort of thing. Um, but this one, like, is, as people have been saying, it's kind of like having Exodia uh, where you need like five pieces to do, like win the game. But uh, I'm, I like the artwork on the cards from what I've seen. I've mostly seen the Mewtwo one. Um, but there are some others like Greninja and things, I think. But yeah, let me know if you like the design or not. So far, I've seen a lot of people commenting, Ooh, we do get a full art of Tornadus V. So we got the half art, I think, Tornadus, didn't we? Yep. So we now have the full art. I'm not a massive fan of the design of like Tornadus and Landorus and the other one, Thunderous. Um, but the backgrounds on these cards always and the colours always make them stand out and look a lot better so it's quite nice to get plus it's a full art as well always happy to pull those but yeah I've seen a lot of negativity about the the V Union cards online um, because of how they work and just the fact that it is four cards needed personally I'm not a fan of the mechanic if they'd stuck to two and made like remade some like new legend cards from like the heart gold soul silver sets I think that would have been perfectly fine I think f stretching it to having to get four cards is just gonna be annoying to be honest I'm sure there are easy ways of like searching it out and discarding it but I eh, I don't know whether they'll see much play uh, we got a weaver or hollow I think they're mostly going to be like collector's things, to be honest. So I will probably try to get them um, just so I can collect the artwork on them. I'm trying to collect the legend cards from Heart Cold Soul Silver. I think I'm about halfway through collecting them all. I'm just missing some odds and pieces, basically. Um, so it's just trying to get hold of them in decent condition and decent price because obviously they're quite old now. So we have 
a scroll of the skies, uh, Rabu, a few missing cards, Polygon 2, Coughing, Ghastly, Blitzel, Snova, uh, Sneasel, a reverse holo Golet, which is a common, and the rare is a non holo Malamar. So I still haven't pulled any of the um, Galarian Legendary Birds, which is like my main aim of this set. So hopefully we can get one in this box. Uh, we've got Hatena, Spiel, Castform Sunnyform, Heracross, Routes, a Reverse Hollow Cubfu, which is a common and the rare, is a non hollow Swordsback. Now I know that the way that I'm taking the codes out, you guys can probably see whether it's green or white, but trust me, because I've, I can see what they are as well, it's not really made any difference to what we got in the packs, because they've all been messed up to whether it is a ultra rare hollow or not. But we do get an Ice Rider Karyax V half art in this set. Okay, so it actually shows more detail, because like on the boxes and stuff, I was like, look, trying to figure out where its head is and like the shadow and stuff because I've not seen it in the video game but these like clearly show it's got a proper head I don't understand what the whole bubble thing on top of the head is I like the like the, the horse the steed bit I just I'm not a big fan of what's on top um but yeah as I said I've not played the games maybe they're a bit cooler in the game but you guys do get another code which is another steam siege pack So many people are going to be opening those online, but at least you can trade them for other stuff, I guess. So we've got a Brawly, Fog Crystal, Curlia, Snova, Menopede, uh, Snowrunt, Aron, Score Bunny, uh, Reverse Hollow Drizzar, which is an uncommon, and the rare is a non hollow. Oh, sorry, no, it is a hollow Greedent. Nearly just went past that as a non hollow because <laughs> the light wasn't showing it on it properly. But that is a hollow, hollow rare. Um, really running out of room. We've got lots of pulls. So maybe, like, it was right. Maybe the pull rates for this set are really good. Which I believe, compared to Battle Styles, a lot of people have been complaining about Battle Styles that the pull rates are atrocious. <laughs> so maybe Pokemon took that into thought and increased the pull rates on Chilling Rain. So we've got Cup Foo, uh, Shop It, a Reverse Hollow Balance Beach, which is just a common, and the rare is a non hollow Bennett. So we're now down to our last four packs. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to be pulling any of the birds on this booster box, which just means I need to try and get another booster box and open it up. Because um, I like opening packs rather than trying to buy cards singly. Unless like it's only a few that I need to complete, like a special set that I'm collecting or something, then I probably will have to buy them. But we do get a reverse hollow rare Zip Striker, and the other rare is a non hollow Galarian Weezing. So, so far, we have got 14 pulls hollow or better. So, nearly one in every two packs, which is a very good pull rate, I must say. Rockruff, a reverse hollow common Aron, and the rare is a non hollow Ampharos. So, down to our last two packs now. We have a Moltres and an Articuno artwork. Can we get one more ultra rare pool to end this video nicely? We have a Curlia, Cybold, Equin Horn, Marie, Clobopus, Weedle. Slowpoke, 
Quillfish, a reverse holo lucky energy, and the rare is a non holo Serena. So, last pack, let's see, can we get an Articuno in an Articuno pack artwork? Form, Weedle, Snow Runt, Crab Roller, uh, Galarian Slowpoke, a Reverse Hollow Steeny, which is an uncommon, and our last rare of the video is an Unhollow Glade. <laughs> and that was a White Coat card. So this shows you how mixed up they are. But overall, um, we've got some really good pulls, and I am very, very happy with this box. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Just do a quick run through. We've got a Greedent Hollow, uh, Ice Rider Carolax V, a Weavile Hollow, Riddler Boom Hollow, a Rainbow Full Art Karen's Conviction, a Tornadus V, an Intellion Hollow, Tornadus V Full Art, a Galarian Slow King Hollow, a Cenderconda V. A Grappelot Hollow, a Celebi B, Blaziken V Max, which is probably, um, I'm gonna say, my second favorite pool of the video. And then my favorite pool has to be from the first pack on the video <laughs> the Galarian Rapidash V Alternative Art. I think that looks amazing. So, just want to thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. As I said, I hope you did enjoy the video. Please remember to give a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.